Congratulations. Thank you. Oh my goodness. This is my car. Button navigation. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So y'all, it is a brand new day. Today is August 18th and my dog is barking. Today is August 18th and today's gonna be a really exciting day, or at least I hope. I really hope that this goes the way that I'm planning on it to go because I have been, y'all see the time, Asher. You guys see the title of this video and that's exactly what this is. If, if y'all even see this video, that means everything went smoothly and your girl got her first car. But that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to a few dealerships this morning with a friend and we're gonna go look around at some things. I wanna kinda look a little bit presentable just in the sense that I do, you know, go ahead and get this car. Even if like I don't, I still wanna look nice for myself. Um, but I'm really praying to God that all things go by smoothly. I literally told, I had a conversation with God and I said, look, me and God, we got a funny little relationship. But I told him, I said, if I go today and everything goes smoothly and I get this vehicle, that's your way. I'm gonna take that as a sign of him saying, I believe in you, I think you're ready and you can handle it. If I go today and I have a lot of issues, I'm just not able to do it. I'm gonna take that as a sign as I'm not ready for you to do this yet. It's not my timing and I need you to wait a little bit. So I'm gonna take either either or as a sign from him. I think that one thing I've had to realize with like being on my spiritual journey with God and just really trying to grow closer with him is relying on his own understanding and not my own. Relying on what he wants for me and not what I want for myself. Because oftentimes what we want for us is not what he wants for us. And I'm gonna put like a little disclaimer. I am very much a Christian girl, okay? I love the Lord and and I'm gonna talk about that a lot within this video because God is the reason why I'm breathing right now in this very moment. If you don't believe in that, I'm not trying to like enforce that on anyone, but when you come to this channel, you're gonna hear about God. So do with that what you will. But yeah, y'all, so I am getting ready to go do that today. I just got done getting dressed. I got this really, really cute dress from Shein and I'm gonna show y'all cause I actually bought like a bunch of new clothes for school like just like some little like tops and stuff like that like nothing like super crazy um because i haven't bought myself any like anything in a while like i've bought myself some stuff but it's been like more like pieces more than just like everyday stuff that i can wear but this dress is just hugging me tight and fitting me right in all the right places and i gotta share share that with y'all but yeah i'm getting ready right now it's 10 20 we're supposed to leave at 10 but i didn't wake up to like or get out of bed to like 9 30. I'm, I'm doing my makeup right now i'm gonna do something like really light lightweight um nothing too much because it is gonna be look kind of um hot today put on my rose water spray i also got my hair done yesterday y'all i don't know if y'all can tell or not but yes your girl got some new parades for school okay get into it we got just some medium sized knotless braids and i decided to do like a little peekaboo of color last year i actually went to school with like blonde braids too but i did them myself and they were not the best looking in some in, in some cases they work but when you wear like a color like that you got to really be mindful of what you're wearing because some color hair doesn't go with other colors so that was a really really big thing for me that i was trying to like figure out and stuff like that and had to be really cautious about what i wore um but i feel like this is more subtle so i can do more things with it i don't want to really talk too too much honestly this feels like surreal to even be filming this video i hope and pray to god that everything goes smoothly today um but like i said it's all on god's timing and it's all on what he wants so I I'm going to get this car by myself like I'm not getting like a co-signer I'm not I don't have any help um not that that's like necessarily a bad thing um I'm a very independent person and I like doing things on my own anyway so I didn't personally I didn't really want any help I really wanted to do this on my own because I knew it was going to mean so much more to me knowing that I saved up and I did what I had to do to get myself to this point in my life and this is a really really big stepping stone this is a really big responsibility and it's a big it's like a really big move so I have been without a car for quite some time now i mean since i've had my license when i was 18 i'm 19 now but i'll be 20 in 
like two or three weeks. This is my first car and I'm just looking forward to the whole experience of everything. Um, I'm just praying that everything goes by smoothly. I probably won't even start recording when I get to the dealership until I know like this is really moving in the right direction. We are going to get it today. I'm going to speak it into existence. When I get this car today, I will talk about um, the whole process later because it is a really, really, why is this not coming out? This is a really tough process and it's very stressful. It can have you very stressed out. It can have you very overwhelmed. It's a, it's a lot y'all. Like it really is a lot. And I just want to give some words of encouragement to anybody that is in the same position, not to not attend watching this video and you don't already follow me you are because you are in this position or you're looking about buying a car and i wanted to say girl or guy take a deep breath it is okay you know i know this can be really really stressful trust me i mean i'm y'all don't y'all don't see it on me because i hold my i hold my weight well but this was a very very stressful process for me something that i've been trying to do for a really really long time and i feel like i've been just hitting dead end after dead end after dead end i'm hoping that today is finally that that moment where the gates open and i get to go through and that's what that's the goal go ahead and finish getting myself together and then i will see y'all hopefully in a second okay i'll see you guys in a second all right y'all oh now you can still see my powder that i did not brush finish brushing off right here so i'm out of my makeup i just did like a little natural little whatever i'm gonna put my lip gloss on and yeah y'all it is now 10 41 so about to get ready to head out and i will see you guys once i know what's going on because right now we don't know anything so yeah let me show you all this dress though look at look at this dress like it just i'm not like in the best position to like show y'all but like it just hugs so so nice like y'all see it y'all y'all see it okay i'm gonna see y'all in a second it is the next day and i am on my way well i just left the dentist's office i'm keeping this mask on because my mouth is numb and my lips look very big so we're gonna keep this mask on but it is august 19th it is 4 55 p.m i am just now leaving the dentist's office and i'm about to actually walk over to this drug mart so I can get something real quick. And then we are going to head to the dealership. Technically, y'all, the dealership closes at five o'clock, but I told them I was on my way anyway, because um, the car had to be serviced, like it wasn't serviced. That's why I couldn't get it yesterday. But anywho, I'm in Drug Mart right now. I'm just getting one thing and then I'm leaving. My dentist appointment went really well. I have to get four of my wisdom teeth taken out. So love that for me. Um, I have to call on Monday and schedule an appointment so that way I can get this, these removed. I've known I needed to get them removed for a long time. Um, yeah, I've known that I needed to get them removed for a minute now. I have just not had the opportunity to. But yeah, I'm gonna see you guys when I get to the dealership or when, just when I get the car because at this point we've been doing a lot of talking. This car is really mine. This is my car. This, this is, this is really my car. This is really my car. To the side real quick. Oh my goodness. This is really my car. This is really my car. This is really my car, bro. Are you like dead ass right now? I don't know how to feel about it but i'm very i don't even it don't even really feel real yet new car me new car me 
hey y'all so today is a new day it has been a few days later to say the least um it's been a few days later but that's okay today is august 24th no august 25th and i am just now finishing out this video i'm gonna show y'all my car like i haven't decorated it or anything like that i do think i'm gonna decorate my car a little bit for sure just not at the moment just because i want to kind of just enjoy it with like it just being how it is and then um i'll probably decorate it decorate it a little bit later so i'm gonna give y'all a little car tour only thing i have in here right now i have a blanket back there that i just keep so i get cold um and then in my trunk i do have some stuff because i've, I've moved in back into school so i have a lot of like bins back there so we're not gonna talk about that but besides that y'all i've had my car now for about a week it'll be a week tomorrow which sounds crazy i named my car journey i'm gonna turn my car off actually because um the wind is blowing and we don't need the car to be running you know we gotta think about gas now but yeah y'all i am in love with this car i'm so happy that i purchased it um i was really nervous at first but i really am just so happy with this decision and i'm just so blessed that i was able to do this um hard work and dedication will get you so far in life and i am living proof of that because i bought this car by myself no co-signer all on my own name got my credit up i mean big things you know big things but yeah this is not to brag or anything like that either um i mean i'm gonna brag a little bit just because i feel like I, I should be able to like i worked hard for this this was not given to me this was a very hard and long process which i will talk about that after i'm done showing y'all the car but yeah without further ado let's get into it i just found like a random parking lot that i could go to to um show y'all this so hopefully no one like looks at me from across the street and it's like what the freak is she doing over there but mind your business to be honest okay y'all this is journey oh my gosh let me show y'all okay so this is my car it is a 2016 mazda 3 touareg i think is what you what you call it oh, this is my car i literally am obsessed with her i love her so much like i cannot believe that this car is mine sorry if this is a little shaky i'm trying the best i'm trying the best that i can y'all but yes y'all this is her Okay, so first off, we have my keys. Um, these are my keys. This is this is actually my mom's key to her car, like her spare key. This is a push to start, so I do not have to plug like push the key in or anything like that. But this is what I don't want to like. I'm trying to get that thing out the way. I need to take this off, but I haven't taken this little tag off yet. But yeah, this is my key. Um, and I have like I'll show y'all the other stuff that's on my keys. It's just like my wallet, my mom's key, my house key, this E for Elizabeth, my name. And then I have this little thing that my friend Amanda gave me. She's actually she's she's actually like my one of my managers at my job and we became really close. And she gave me this cute little like Kirby thing. She has a pink one. So yeah, these are my keys. So when you have the key inside of your hand, um you can simply or not in your hand, but just like on you at all, like in your purse, you can just press this button right here and the car will unlock. Same way if I close the car, it locks on its own. So that was it locking on its own. I don't have to press any buttons or anything like that, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm gonna start off with the trunk first. I do have some stuff in my trunk. So yeah, you just hold this, oop, hold this down and then the trunk opens. And yeah, I have, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff in here, but this kind of gives y'all an idea of how much space is in here because I have two big bins back there. Like y'all can't see that, but this one I have another big bin right back there. I have a whole suitcase, a box of hair products from a company I got to do some videos with. Pretty spacious for this to be like a really small car. Like the Mazda 3s are smaller than the Mazda um, 6s. So yeah, but the color of her is also like a brown color. They call it like titanium something. But it's just brown. I just look at it as brown. And I love a brown car. Because y'all know I love brown. But yeah. Okay. So this is my back seat. Um, I do have a jacket back here in case it ever rains one day. And I don't have a coat with me. And I don't want to get my hair wet. So I do have this little jacket. I could fold it so it looks a little bit nicer. Or put this on top of it so it doesn't look all crazy. But yeah. And then I have this blanket. Because I'm anemic, y'all. I believe that I am. And so I get cold. So I have a blanket in here. They gave me new mats. I actually have two sets of mats. Uh, mat. I have 
these ones and then gave me some other ones more for the summertime but i'm gonna keep these in for now because they're more like winter mats this is the view from the back seat i also have this little thing you pull out and put your cup holders in um there's like a little pocket down here there's only one on this side not the other side but i guess that makes it easy for like the driver to reach back here and then i have my school bag right there and that's really it there's like cup holders on the door and stuff like that if you're sitting back here i don't i've only sat back here once um it's it's okay like it's not like the most spacious thing like i'm five six and like my my knees are kind of they're not even hitting it like i mean i have some space um but yeah it's not like the biggest back seat but it's good enough you know it's good enough for me and my few friends that i have so To the front of the car i'm gonna now come to the driver's side i also have my parking permit up there for school so if y'all see that this car does have a sunroof y'all which i was not looking for that but i'm happy that it came with it it has a sunroof so i'm really really happy with that and it also has on the mirrors like when you're turning the thing will i don't know if y'all can see it it has this on it can you see that probably not but there's like a little thing right here so that way it'll tell me if there's a car on, the, on my blind spot it'll also beep from backing out and it senses like motion behind me so that's also really really helpful from the front seats this is the door um i have a water bottle down there and then we have the controls to switch the um what do you call these things the controls to switch the rear view mirrors um or side mirrors or whatever this is to lock the windows and then we also have the thing to lock the door and unlock the door and then just like the auto for the buttons and everything for the windows that's pretty much it it's like a little space right there moving on over here i don't know what this is I, there's also a lot of things about this car i don't know that i have to still i'm figuring out as i have it and then i figured out that this button right here is for the tire pressure so like when you put the uh, the right Right amount of tire pressure i think each wheel takes 36 you just set it that way it'll know so when it goes lower than that it'll tell me on the dashboard of the um the speedometer the stuff up here so this is the front this is with me sitting down inside of it um we have the steering wheel you can change the song um as you are listening to music or whatever we have i don't really know this is for, oh, this is the info to change um like if so it'll, i'll show you i want to my car on this is like an info button the volume i've never really used this but you can change the volume with this um you can answer the call hang up a call the horn sounds like that if y'all were wondering it's something control i think my friend told me it's um lane assist something like that but i don't really know how to use that we have the speedometer up there and then i have my blinkers i keep my lights on auto because i will forget to turn them on moving on over here we have my screen i do need to update i need to take my car back to the dealership and get my system updated it's cost like 200 dollars though so that's why i haven't done it yet but that way my system can have like apple carplay and stuff like that um it's just a little dusty i hope y'all can't see that but yes yeah, so i will be taking it back to get that updated i want to get 10 in this car as well eventually you know with time i just got the car a week ago so i'm not like really in a rush right now um i bought this from five below because i needed something to put my phone on when i'm having my directions on but eventually when i get my system updated i can just look at my maps on there so yeah but for now i keep my phone right there this is for the hazard lights on here we have the what is this this is for the temperature cool ac heat um the control buttons for all that i mean that's pretty all self-explanatory um the fog and stuff like that where you want the air to come out at we have um down here we have two usb ports um one of them i don't know how well this usb port is or if it's just a charger that i bought i haven't tested it yet but like it works but it doesn't keep my phone charged that long or gets it like really high so i haven't tested it to see if it's my cord or if it's the actual car but i need to figure that out because sometimes y'all i'll be trying to charge my phone and it does not do what i need to do i might have to like put it inside of my armrest so it'll charge quicker i don't know you can also like connect your um your phone to this and play music or as well but it does also have bluetooth but it's mainly what i use there's an aux thing down there it's kind of hard to see and then you also have an sd card um i just keep my hand sanitizer i need to refill this up but hand sanitizer i keep in here my phone this long charger i got from drug mart and that way if someone needs to use a charger from the back seat they can it'll reach it's 10 feet this is the gear shift right here we just have the regular park reverse neutral drive you know all the good stuff but i do like the little gear shift it's really it's really sleek i really like that i hate that this cord is so long it makes it look like really dingy but there's that <laughs> and then we have my emergency brake and then this is a dial for how you change between the system i'll show you guys on there the home button the music button navigation which i have to get my system updated that way it'll show my navigation 
you can like favorite stuff go back and then the volume button is right here as well or to stop the music i have my strawberry refresher right here that i was actually drinking there's that it also came with cup holders but i'll probably buy some more but yeah there are cup holders down there moving on we have the um armrest so in here i don't really have anything there's a few pennies i keep like change right here this can come out and then down there i have a scrunchie and i have an extra little charger cord and then it also has a spot to put another charger at maybe like the back seat because the back seat doesn't have one i will buy one to go in here and I, i'm gonna put more stuff in this car like you know a little like emergency kit type of things but like i said i've only had this car for a week and i just haven't had the time to really like sit and like do stuff like that or go on amazon and buy stuff up here we have my rear mirror hi guys can y'all see me i have my parking pass right here for school um up here we have it's really tight um but up here we have the what's this thing called y'all know what this is i don't know what it's called but yeah you know and then i also like that like if you pull this down you pull that down and this thing comes out so that like the sun is like coming at an angle it'll guard it right there so that's really cool and this side also has that so yeah that's really cool i haven't seen another car that like has had that up here we have the sunglass holder or i'll just put like random stuff in here i don't really wear sunglasses i like that when i'm driving but yeah there's a sunglass holder and then you have the lights to turn them on or whatever you can just press them or you can use this button and put them all on or turn them off and then this is for the sunroof so to close it you just press the button down oh the car's not on but yeah you just press that button down or press it back and that's how you open up the sunroof this is the sunroof y'all yeah get into the sunroof so yeah i love that i have a sunroof it's so just nice to have this and then obviously this doesn't come down when this is up but yeah there's that too this is the passenger seat now um also we have my mats down there and here the glove compartment i just have some my registration for my car i have an extra toothbrush in case like i ever stay somewhere and which i've done that a lot of times and i need it this papers in there i haven't actually gone through these papers i probably should to make sure there's not any important information in case like someone ever breaks into my car god forbid but i have some napkins in there this is like a manual for the car which i actually might take this in one day and go through it because i want to learn more like little things about the car that i don't know about and then that is pretty much it y'all like it's not it's not nothing really crazy to it um like i said it is pretty small like from me sitting right here this is kind of my view um but yeah i absolutely am obsessed with this car oh we're gonna turn it on duh so y'all can see so normally i'll just keep my keys in my purse or i'll put them right there so to turn the car on you have to put your foot in the brake and then make sure the keys in the car obviously and then you're gonna press the push to start button and that is how it sounds and we have my little screen that comes on little mazda yes period mazda yeah so it'll tell me my um how many miles i have left as far as oh my goodness it's not focusing it'll tell me how many miles i have left for gas so right now i have 291 miles y'all this car is so good on gas i filled this tank up like like maybe like was it a week ago no it was probably like a few days like maybe like four days i filled it up on saturday no on sunday i filled it no on monday i filled it up on monday and um i got me to 400 miles on a full tank of only 35 dollars i think I, I had i had like 100 something miles left and i put 25 in there got it up to 400 miles this this car is just so good on gas like literally it's the, it's the best thing ever and that's pretty much it y'all like honestly i like the steering wheel because it has this kind of like red stitching on and they kind of remind me of like a sports car um over here we have my camera's about to die so i gotta hurry up we have the control center so that's the music i'm playing with bluetooth and you can control it with this so if i press the home button and then you just use this dial thing to go between things so we have the application if you click that like i said this needs to be updated so it's not like equipped with like the newer things but it'll tell you like the fuel economy warning like what things that might pop up on here like let's say if i need an oil change it'll tell me in the settings in here and then entertainment it's just my music obviously go back to home communication is for phone navigation settings but most of the time i just stick to entertainment keep my music playing and that's pretty much it y'all that is my brand new car i am so 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 pleased and so happy that i have this car i am so grateful that god allowed me to make this big purchase like literally words cannot describe how grateful i am to have this vehicle y'all i have been without a car for a really long time since i got my license two years ago and it was a struggle like i will admit it was a struggle um here and there i was able to use my mom's car but it's just nothing like just having your own car you know and knowing that i saved up my money i got my credit up and everything so i could do this by myself really means a lot to me so 
I'm so happy and I really want to document the journey for y'all because you know, this is what my channel is all about doc documenting my experiences sharing them with y'all I hope that you guys in this video if you did give it a big thumbs up thank you guys so much for supporting me being here with me on my journey with everything I appreciate it so much it's a really big milestone for me and I'm so proud of myself for once I'm like saying I'm proud of myself I do a lot of things and I don't give myself credit but this is a really good thing and a, a big thing you know so I deserve to be proud about this but yeah y'all new whip me oh it also has heated seats and it's on right now it does that a lot I turn it on on accident but this car also the front two seats also have heated seats so that's gonna be great and clutch in the, in the winter time that is my baby this is journey y'all me journey um i hope that you guys this video if you did give it a big thumbs up if you guys have any more questions about buying a car anything about this car in, in particular um leave them down below or dm me or whatever the case is i'm always here to help and give as much guidance as i can um but that is it y'all new with me okay i love you guys so much and i will see you guys next time in the video bye Mwah. This is really my car.